Missourians will face a ballot measure regarding ranked choice voting. In tonight's legal lens, Fox 2's Jeff Bernthal asked Brown and Crouppen attorney Andrea McNary about the decision voters will face at the ballot box. Andrea, I guess uh, some people may just uh, wonder to start to what exactly is ranked choice voting? So ranked choice voting is when you cast a vote uh, instead of for just one candidate, you actually vote and rank the candidates in order of preference. So all the first choice votes are counted initially. And if a candidate gets more than 50% of the vote uh, for the first choices, they win. If no candidate secures a majority of the vote, then the candidate with the fewest choices is a, or the fewest first choices is eliminated. So basically this process is repeated over and over again of elimination and redistribution until the candidate with the fewest votes is eliminated and those votes are redistributed to the next preferred candidate until there's one candidate receiving the majority of the vote. So a little confusing, but it, it's basically a, a system of eliminating and redistributing votes until there is a winner. And what is it that Missouri voters uh, will be asked uh, regarding this uh, come November? So the Missouri House voted in favor of proposing a constitutional amendment to ban ranked choice voting in the majority of Missouri. So what the amendment states is no voter shall be permitted to cast a ballot in a manner that results in the ranking of candidates for a particular office. In addition, the resolution also states that the candidate that receives the most votes in a political primary election will be the only candidate on the ballot for November. I know some people wonder if that would affect uh, St. Louis City, the city uh, recently turning to uh, nonpartisan elections. So, no, this amendment actually would carve out um, and make an exception for the city of St. Louis. Um, other cities can also benefit from this exemption as well um, because it applies to any nonpartisan municipal elections. All right, some great information uh, for voters uh, ahead of time before they head to the polls. Andrea McNary with Brown and Crouppen, we always appreciate your time. Thank you. You're so welcome. Jeff Bernthal, Fox 2 News. And you can catch The Legal Lens every Wednesday evening right here on Fox 2 News at 6.